Hey friends, Elizabeth here from Plant Based Bride, and today I'm setting up my bullet journal for May 2019 with a Game of Thrones theme. This video is kindly sponsored by Skillshare, so hang out till the end of the video to learn a little bit more about their incredible service. If you spend any time on the internet, I'm sure you are more than aware of the Game of Thrones hype that has been going around. The final season premiered less than a week ago and all the internet could talk about for months leading up to the premiere was who would finally win the throne. I've been watching Game of Thrones for years and am a big fan of the show, so I cannot wait to see how they tie up all of the different storylines and to learn the fate of all of my favorite characters. Let me know in the comments below who your favorite Game of Thrones character is. Mine is probably Tyrion Lannister. Or Daenerys, but probably Tyrion. He's just my kind of guy. I knew I had to do a Game of Thrones theme in my bullet journal. This was just the absolute perfect time to do it. And I had a really fun time coming up with spreads and creating these different images, trying to get across the feel of Game of Thrones while still sticking to my more minimalist artistic style. So starting off with the cover page, I'm featuring the three dragons, as well as writing May along the bottom using that super recognizable Game of Thrones font. So I'm starting off just by outlining everything, using a ruler for the letters to really get crisp, accurate lines, and then drawing the outline of the dragons using my Secura Micron pens. Once I filled everything in, I actually grabbed a bottle of liquid ink that's meant for fountain pens and a cheap old brush and used that to add little dots and splatters on both the lettering and the dragons. This gives me the feel of splattered ink as if you were writing a letter with a quill in olden times and dripping ink on the page. It's also a little bit reminiscent of splattered blood, which we all know is very common in Game of Thrones. Once I was happy with the look of all the splatters, I moved on to the monthly calendar page. And this month I decided to do something completely out of my comfort zone and very different for me and do a dial monthly. So this monthly is based on a generally circular shape and the shape I decided to mold this monthly around is the throne. As we all know, the whole point behind this show is the fight for the throne and the political games, as well as the wars that are fought to win the throne. So the throne is such a central image for this show that I really wanted to include it. And when I was looking at pictures of the throne, trying to come up with ideas, I had a sudden thought that it would be really cool if each sword sticking up off the back of the throne was a day of the month. So that's what I decided to go with. I had no idea until I was finished if it would actually work, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. And I actually think it's going to be very practical, which is awesome. So I started by drawing the outline of the throne using a couple images of the real prop throne, as well as making sure that I actually got 31 swords sticking up so that I had the right number for the month. I then did the same lettering from the cover page, but this time I want the letters to be white just with an outline. And I wanted to create the vague outline of a person sitting on the throne without getting too specific on who that person might be. I used my liquid ink and brush to fill in the majority of the throne just because it's such a large surface area that it would have taken me a very long time to fill in with a pen, even a larger nib pen. 
As always, all of the supplies used will be linked in the description box down below, so go check them out if you're interested in specifics. And I also wanted to include a tiny standard calendar in the center there, just for reference, because this calendar is such a different layout than what I'm used to, I wanted to make sure that it was as practical as possible. I also numbered every spike, every sword along the back of the throne from one to 31, and then used a light gray Tombow brush pen to draw lines radiating out from each day so that I would have a little section along the periphery of the page to write my daily events, appointments, birthdays, etc. So I went in and added the things that I knew would be coming up, my sister's birthday, days I typically go to therapy, upload days, but obviously I will be adding more things as I get more of an idea of what May holds for me. And I also used the brush and ink to add some more of those splatters and dots and things all the way around. Again, I really wanted these spreads, while they're very clean and minimal and black and white, I still want them to have a bit of that feel of messiness and dirtiness because I think Game of Thrones has so much of that. It doesn't shy away from the dirty, gory, messy, aspects of this world that has been created and I didn't want my spreads to be really sterile um, when the show itself is not sterile in any way. Now we're moving on to the next page which is the quote page for the month and I don't think I could go with anything other than winter is coming. There are lots of quotes that I love from Game of Thrones. I drink and I know things is up there as one of my favorites. Daenerys's almost ridiculously long title is another one. All men die but we are not men. Another great one spoken by Daenerys. But Winter is Coming really is, of course, the most well-known and the quote that just immediately makes me, anyway, think about Game of Thrones. So I wanted to do Winter is Coming. Again, using that same Game of Thrones font, I used a sword instead of the T in winter. I saw a couple images where swords had been used to replace the T and thought that was a brilliant idea. I also wanted to create some crows flying up from the W in winter. So just drawing out a couple distinct crows and then going in with my liquid ink to add splatters and splotches and squiggly lines and dots all the way around just to make it a little bit messier. So the next spread I am working on is the moods spread. And for this one, I'm really excited about the concept. So the image here is Jon Snow facing away, wearing a cloak and his direwolf ghost sitting beside him, watching out for him as ghost always does. And then the cloak Jon Snow is wearing is sort of disintegrating into a murder of crows. It's sort of weird, but also kind of works for Game of Thrones in my mind anyway. If you recreate any of these spreads or do your own Game of Thrones pages or full themes, I would love to see them. Please tag me on Instagram so I can check them out. Here are some of my favorite recreations from the last month. You may have noticed that I'm using a new notebook. So I actually picked up this Scribbles That Matter notebook and it's a slightly larger size. It's a B5 instead of my typical A5. And I'm actually really enjoying that little bit of extra space. So watch out for a review on this notebook coming up relatively soon on my channel. Also watch out for a new bullet journal setup video. So I drew 31 crows kind of coming away from Jon Snow's cloak. And I'm going to fill in every crow with a different shade of gray or black, depending on my mood every day. And I think this is gonna give a really cool effect when it's all filled in. And finally, the last spread for this setup is my weekly spread for the first week of May. And of course, I'm sticking with my tried and true, the rolling weekly. As you know, this is my favorite weekly spread. I have been using this spread and only this spread for my weeklies for well over a year now and I can't see myself stopping anytime soon. It really is just the most practical weekly for me. 
If you're not familiar with the Rolling Weekly, I will link the video where I explain it in depth, what it is, how I use it, why it's the most practical option for me. So go check that out if you want to learn more about this specific style of weekly. So I'm doing this in my typical rolling weekly format with all of the days of the week on the left side with room to write in events, appointments, and day specific tasks. And then the right side of the spread is for tasks that can be completed on any day of the week or are going to be completed multiple times in the week and an area for me to track which day or days those tasks were completed. I also decided to continue to draw in this mini habit tracker on my weeklies. This is something I started doing last month after getting a lot of suggestions from you on my bullet journal plan with me reaction video where I asked what you did for habit trackers and how you made them practical because I used to make habit trackers all the time and I just found I wasn't using them anymore and I stopped for a while, but I do find that these mini weekly habit trackers, I use a lot more than I was using a big monthly tracker with a lot of habits. So I'm just focusing on my top three habits that I'm trying to establish right now, which is getting up by 9am every day, which is very hard if you are a night owl like me and stay up till two or three in the morning on the regular stretching every day and spending at least 20 minutes cleaning every day. As for the drawing on my weekly spread, this is a profile of Sansa Stark. I looked up a bunch of pictures of her and tried to draw her profile as accurately as possible so that it would be clear who this was supposed to be. And then behind Sansa's head is the house symbol for House Stark. It's the wolf. And again, once I'd filled in both Sansa's profile and the wolf, I added a bunch of splotches and dots and streaks and things with my ink to keep that consistency throughout the spreads. I already have plans for the other weeks of the month and what drawings I'm going to do for those. So be sure to go follow me on Instagram if you want to see the rest of the weekly spreads as I create them. I always post those up on my Instagram so that all of you can see. I also try to always post completed spreads on my Instagram so you can see what they look like once I've used them. So those are all of my spreads for my May 2019 Game of Thrones themed bullet journal. I am so happy with how this turned out and I can't wait to start using it. I wish it was May already. Thank you so much to my patrons. As always, I appreciate your support so, so much. If you want to join the Plant-Based Bride patron squad, be sure to check out the link in the description box down below. As always, my patrons will be receiving printables from my monthly spread, so go check it out if you would like some printables of the artwork I did in this monthly spread. A big thank you to my new patrons, Angie, Adrienne, and Jenny. Now I would like to take the time to tell you a little bit about today's sponsor, Skillshare. I'm sure many of you have heard of or used Skillshare already, but if you haven't, I'm here to tell you a little bit about them. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in design, business, art, and more. I have used Skillshare for years now and I feel like I've learned so much from the classes I've taken. Premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join any and all of the classes and communities that are a good fit for you. Whatever you're trying to improve upon, whether it's curiosity about a new subject of study or your creativity for your bullet journal or anywhere else, or even your career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving. Skillshare is also super affordable, which I love. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. My favorite class right now is the Bounce Letters class taught by Tila Cunningham. She does a great job of explaining in detail the techniques she uses to create a bouncier feel in her hand lettering. And I love this because one of my goals for 2019 is to improve on my hand lettering. 
They also have some incredible classes on how to watercolor, especially for beginners. And I watched a bunch of those when I first bought my watercolors in the summer and started using them in my bullet journal. Use the top link in my description to go check out Skillshare for yourself. The first 500 people who sign up using my link will get a two month free trial for Skillshare. No matter what it is you're trying to learn, I am pretty sure Skillshare has a class for you. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And with that, we have come to the end of my May 2019 plan with me. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye friends.